Hello, hello, hello! It's Leslie Oman here from Hungry Heavy Crafts, and today I have a Christmas card for you guys. It is a interactive card because it is a shaker card. But what's particularly fun is that the whole front panel is see-through, and also it doesn't really look like a shaker card when you first look at it because you can't see all those shaker elements when it's standing upright. Kind of fun. I'm going to be creating a frame for the front section of my card. So I'm using the Mum Elephant Park Avenue die to cut two frames out of watercolor cardstock. And I'll also use a large stitch rectangle die from Lawn Fawn to cut out some acetate, two pieces. For my front panel of my card, I also want to have a little hill, a little hillside on these inside pieces. And that's what will actually hide all those shaker elements when the card is standing upright. So I'm using my Lawn Fawn Simple Stitch Hillside Borders die to cut through those two pieces. I'm lining them up back to back so that they'll match perfectly whenever I assemble my card completely. For the back panel of my card, I've used the same cardstock, cut a piece of card which is five and a half inches wide, same width as my frame but I'm making it a little bit taller, about half an inch taller. Then I can come back in with my score tool and score along where I need the top panel of my card to be. So I have this little lip, this little folded over section, and that will help me attach my frames onto the front of my card. For the inside shaker elements today, I'm using these really cool embellishments from Honey Bee Stamps. It kind of looks like little pieces of glass and it's not very thick, so you only need one layer of foam, which is quite fun. I have this piece of Distress Inked card that was lying on my desk. I used some Distress Inks. I'll put the colors in the notes below. But I wanted to add some stitching along the edges. So I used one of my um, a little bit larger size stitched rectangle dies and ran it through twice so that I could get all four sides of my my uh, colored cardstock with a nice stitch border around all four edges. Let's stick my front panel, this frame, onto the back of my card with a little sticky tape. And now I can start building up this front section. I'm adding some sticky tape now to that frame so I can lay down my acetate. And then I'll add some foam tape all the way around. And that's where I will end up putting in my shaker elements. Now I do need another frame here which will go right on top. And my little snowy mind will go in there as well. So this is what it'll look like when it's all assembled. And the colored piece will go right behind in the inside. But I decided that I wanted another snowy hill on the inside of my card. So I'm using another one of the Lawn Fawn stitched hillside border dies to create one of those snowy hillsides. And now that I know that it's in place, I can figure out exactly where I want my greeting to be. This is the Toboggan Together set from Lawn Fawn, and it has lots of really cute critters, um, but I also love the greetings. So I'm going to white heat emboss this right onto this colored panel here. And I did prep the surface with a powder tool. Moving over to my stamps. The cute, adorable bear is from Simon Says Stamp. It's called the Bear Necessity Stamp Set. And I've also got a Santa hat from the Toboggan Together Lawn Fawn Set and two little presents. And those are from my favorite things, Beast Friends. I decided I didn't want the mouth on the bear. I'm going to add something else later on. So I took a baby wipe on my fingertip and removed the ink that was on his mouth so that I, it didn't stamp. Now I am stamping these on some Nina Solar White cardstock because I'm using my Copic markers today, as you can see. And very quickly taking a few different tones of the same color to add some color to each of my images. 
decided to go for a light tan color for my bear. And after I've blended out each of my colors with a mid tone, a light tone and a dark tone, I'm going back in with the pens and adding a little dot detail just to add some visual texture to the to the little critter today. Now I don't actually have the dies for this bear so I'm just fussy cutting around him leaving a little white border and to make sure that I cut the the back of the bear exactly the same shape I'm temporarily adhering it onto the back of my other piece of card so I can cut around the same border. Moving over to the inside panel I wanted to add some texture so I've grabbed a Simon Says Stamp Falling Snow um, stencil and some embossing paste and adding some snow to this inside panel. Just rub my finger along the edges so that I don't have any rough edges there. And I do make sure that I clean my mask afterwards so that it doesn't this the embossing paste doesn't dry on there. Because my greeting is on the right, I do know that I want my bear to be on the left of my card. But to add some more interest, I'm adding a couple of presents just below the greeting. I show these presents because they are symmetrical. So when I cut them out, um, I can put them one on the front of the card and one on the back of the card and it will cover each other exactly. So let's stick my little snowy mound onto my inked panel. And then I'll add some of this really cool embellishments in the inside of my shaker. I added a little powder tool just to get rid of any static and that will help my little shaker bits not stick to um, not stick to the edges or any of the adhesive. So let's stick my ground in place and using a few glue dots I'll put my little bear on the front and turn it over and add the back and then I'll add a little Santa hat to this top section here. Now in the Mama Elephant Page Huggers stamp set there is a teeny weeny stamp with a little mouth and I'm adding that to the bear just to give him a little bit of a more whimsical feel. Let's add these cute little presents front and back and before I adhere this panel down I'm going to add a grating onto this snowy mound. I did measure it so that when I stamp this it will be hidden behind the snowy mound on the front panel of the card. So you'll only see it when you open up the card. Now I noticed that a little bit of my uh, shaker bits was falling out so I squeezed some glossy accents into the side panel and ran my finger along it to secure it. For some added fun I decided to use this liquid applique which when you add it to your project it comes out like a paste but when you heat it with your heat tool it puffs up and gives some really fun texture to the card. So now all I needed to do was when my embossing paste was dry completely on the inside I added a little bit of glaze pen to the bear's eyes and nose and I used my white gel pen to add some dot detail onto his cheeks. <laughs> I think he's really cute. Thank you so much for watching the video today. Please do leave a like and subscribe for more videos. And if you're in the mood, here's a few more for you to check out. Just click on the boxes. Until the next time, happy crafting. Bye.